Hello, my dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. And for these moments with our Good Shepherd, I'm going to focus on verses 3 to 4 of Philippians chapter 2. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or empty conceit, but in humility consider one another better than yourselves. Let each of you look carefully not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Paul's antidote to most of the difficulties in Christian communion is to be like-minded, having the same love, being one in the Spirit, and doing nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but rather in humility of heart, valuing each other above ourselves. These are simple instructions, but how difficult to achieve when King Self is sitting on the throne of one's life. Humility of spirit, gentleness of disposition, love for each other, and joy in the Lord are all fruits of the Spirit, which burst forth in a life that is centered in Christ. Don't try and force everyone into your way of thinking. That is a sign that you are thinking more of yourself than you are of them. The verb translated look carefully to means to turn one's attention, interests, or expectations towards something and respond accordingly. Looking out for the interests of others involves always keeping our eyes wide open to discover new opportunities to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. No longer are we to live according to our old, self-serving nature because Christ gave us this new command, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Let us love one another, for love is of God. He who loves as Christ loved us is born of God and knows him. Paul's earnest cry at the end of his life was that I may know Christ. Let this be our earnest desire today and for the rest of our lives. And as we know Christ more intimately, may we love others more deeply and with humility of heart, value others above ourselves. This unselfish attitude of heart and humbleness of spirit towards our brothers and sisters in Christ is the key to maintaining our joy in the Lord. We are called to be humble, lowering ourselves so that God can be glorified. How honoring to the Lord if we were able to take this simple instruction to heart and not only look to our own interests, but also to the interests of others. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, help me to recognize and respond to the needs of others willingly, cheerfully, and with humility of heart and gentleness of spirit, that I may not be so concerned with my needs that I miss the aching need of another. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, everyone, may you seek to always be in the heart and mind and shoes of another.